Hello, I hope everyone is doing well. So I've got part two of my building your own pure from scratch guide and this one is going to be all about getting mithril gloves, all of the quests and skills needed to obtain myth gloves on your pure and I will also be keeping track of the time taken to do all of this. I strongly recommend that one of the first quests you do is Gertrude's cat because you will need to start raising your kitten immediately as it does take approximately four hours to grow from a, a kitten to an adult cat. And the reason that is important is because as a pure, there are only five the, of the council members you are able to save in Recipe for Disaster, and one of them is Evil Dave, where you will have to collect the spices by killing the hell rats, and you certainly do not want to do that with a kitten, as they have only a 10% success rate versus about 40% for an adult cat. While you're raising your kitten, you should just start skilling a little bit, and also knocking out some of the prereq quests. Most of the quests are 10 minutes or less, really simple, and the skilling isn't too bad either. Getting the 10 fishing for fishing contests is really slow, and I find it to be kind of annoying, but getting some of the skills like, for instance, you need 30 crafting to do Shadow of the Storm, you can take advantage of some of the quest experience gain from the prereqs, and you don't have to get actually 30 crafting. You only have to get about 28 because, for instance, the golem gives a 1,000, crafting experience and then one of the RFD parts also gives a thousand so if you kind of plan things out right you can really save yourself a little bit of time. The same can be done for cooking as well since all of the subquests to RFD give some cooking experience you don't have to actually train your way to 41 in order to free scratch which has the highest cooking requirement for peers and if you're really lazy like I was you can even do that at 39 cooking by buying a chef's delight. So the order in which I did these quests was done in a way to minimize the amount of time spent and maximize the benefit of the quest experience rewards. So I first focused on freeing the goblin general, the dwarf, and the pirate because they have essentially no pre quests. Basically like a two minute quest in goblin diplomacy or a ten minute quest in fishing contest. After that, I then focused on the prereqs for freeing Evil Dave, which are by far the most time-consuming because you have to complete the Golem and Shadow of the Storm. The main benefit to doing the quests in this order is because ultimately you are going to have to free Scratch, and in order to do that you need at least 30 range to complete big chompy bird hunting. Well, I'd rather not try to train range starting from level 1, and a good tip is that by doing Shadow of the Storm quest, you get a 10,000 experience reward in any combat skill other than prayer. So even from level 1 range, using that 10,000 experience will get you all the way to level 27. Then you only have to train from 27 to 30 range instead of 1 to 30 range before finishing Big Chompy Bird Hunting. Another good tip I have is if you're planning on knocking out all these quests in a short amount of time, I would look at the guides before you even start and make a trip to the Grand Exchange and just buy everything you're going to need for all of the quests ahead of time. That will save you quite a few trips to the GE and ultimately save you some time in the long run. I know this guide says building your pure from scratch, but I did transfer over a couple hundred K just for the basics for the quest items and such because I am using Hans as a general timer and I wanted to essentially start with zero minutes rather than spending an hour or two looting and getting that couple hundred K. So this next part here is by far the hardest if you are a low level pure. I'm doing this with only 45 attack, 31 strength, and 27 hit points. Basically all from quests. Now this is killing the boss for the Shadow of the Storm quest. If you are going to try to do this at this low of a combat with no prayer, you almost have to do what I did here. I actually failed once the first time, but then I got smart and brought a Rune Dagger Poison Plus Plus and a bunch of Rings of Recoil and Sarah Bruise, and I was actually able to kill him fairly easily that way. Here's where you then would want to pick the range experience to go straight from 1 to 27 and probably shave an hour or more off of your training time. At this point, I needed to go train my range from 27 to 30, which only took about 20 minutes or so, and this was the last requirement to finish Big Chompy Bird Hunting, which is needed to free Scratch. I could have also gone and done Freeing Evil Dave at this point, but I still didn't quite have my kitten raised to a cat. This is why I emphasize that it's really important to start the kitten as soon as possible, because 
I started mine pretty early on, but it's still not at cat form yet. I always got a kick out of the jubbly birds. I don't know if they're supposed to, but they kind of remind me of the dodo just being dumb enough to show up right in front of an ogre with a bow that wants to kill you. But I kind of I kind of wish there was another use for them after the quest, just because it's kind of funny to shoot this giant bird with a bow. I don't know if anyone else feels that way. So at this point, not trying to brag or anything, but here's how skilled I am. So I had everything done, pretty much, except for cooking the jubbly, because I didn't have a high enough level yet, and getting the spices for Evil Dave. And you can see here, I still have the kitten following me, and there's no way I could have timed this up intentionally, but as I'm clicking through this menu, I click the wrong button, and then boom, your, your kitten's now a cat. Wish I could say I planned that, but what can I say? Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. So even with an adult cat, it still took longer than I would have hoped to get enough spices because every single spice it wanted to give me was yellow for some reason. If anyone doesn't know the basic strategy for getting the right spicy stew, pretty much just put one dose of one spice in to a stew and feed it to him. And if he says something is right, then you know you got the right amount of that spice. And if he says nothing is right, then try that same spice but with two doses. And if that works, then you know it's two doses of that spice. And if that doesn't work, then you know by default it has to be three doses of that spice. And you pretty much do that for each of the four, and process of elimination will get you the right combination. So I have now saved all five council members that One Defense Peers can save, got myself Myth Gloves, completed all the quests necessary to save these five council members, and all the quests needed to get the combat level I am, and it's taken me under 10 hours to do all of that. Now remembering where I was on the timer when I started, this is about seven hours for all of the Myth Gloves, skills, prereqs, and saving of the council members. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Part three should be up soon, and that will be a guide on training combat on your pure.